Yo, what's up, formerly? This your boy KB with ODRS TV, your number one source for daily outdoor gaming content. And today we back at the site of our mega cow farm. But today is not about the cows. No, not at all. Today we're talking about fork lifts and loading pallets. All right. So last night I had some buddies on my map and um wild times to say the least wild times as you see here the store is all in the disarray bells are everywhere pallets are everywhere we have a semi trailer right here blocking traffic pallets just in the streets it's mayhem utter mayhem no pun intended but um today what we're gonna do we actually need to get these pellets right here to the form. But we have to load it up on something first, right? If you notice, it's on the pellet jack, and I don't have no mods. I can't pick it up. You see, object too heavy. I cannot load it, man. So guess what I got to do? I got to hop myself on this forklift and load these bad boys one by one. Now, a lot of people do not like messing with the Fort Lewis and Farm Simulator, and that's understandable because that is a chore, and it is a tad bit daunting. But today, I'm going to show you how to make that very, very simple on yourself. No, it's still not going to be easy, and it's not no modding, not no auto-loading or none of that. But it's a way to make it more efficient for you to load these things. Let's go. All right. So when it comes to working with pellets and the fort lift, I always want to make the job easy on you. I'm a big fan of working smart, not hard. Today for this test, we're going to use the basic old fort lift. Now there's many different machines and vehicles that can have fork attachments and they all pretty much operate the same. In fact, I'm going to do another video going through the different types of machines that you can use with a forklift and the best scenarios for them. But in general, this forklift right here and the other um, generic forklift model is like the best thing to use, the easiest thing to use. Because like the wheel loader and the skier loader and all that, like while those pretty much operate the same, like just the way those devices and vehicles move, make those not too idealistic if you know what i mean for this especially for stuff like this all right so first thing we want to do here is we're going to actually move this trailer because we're going to load up our mineral feed into this trailer right here because this trailer is the best for um moving things that you have to manually unload as you see, we got access to both sides here. So we don't have to worry about things getting stuck in awkward parts of the trailers. Versus loading the pallets up in the trailer like these, these covered trailers. As you can see, the back wall right here, we cannot get to. No matter what we do, we cannot open up that side. And the forts on the fort lift aren't long enough to actually reach the pallets on that side. So once stuff get pushed over to that side, even if it's on accident, it's there. So using trailers like this is only good for like auto unload situation but i'm gonna show you how we can load these up efficiently too so the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna move that trailer like i said so we're gonna detach from this man Crazy times on the phone last night, I must say. So we're gonna swing the trailer around to the front here.
Matter of fact, we can leave it right here. Now we're going to detach. Just to get this big mother lover out the way. So let's hop in the fort though. All right. So the fort lift basically has three different types of movement. So the first movement that everyone is familiar with is the forts can go up and they can go down. Again, forts can go up and down. So we can raise the pallets, lower the pallets. In addition to going up and down, we could tilt the forks. Tilt the forks forward, backwards. We could tilt the forks forward. Again, up, down, front, forward, backwards. In addition to that, we could also change the spacing of these forks. So we can make them wider. And we can make them smaller. Wider, smaller. So in general, when it comes to the width of the forks, we have to always adjust first. You want to make the forks as wide as you possibly can make it and fit up under there comfortably. And easily, so. Get a first person view. Now for lining up with the pallets, first person view is slightly better. All right, so you want to line the forts up with the holes. Yeah. All right, now before you go in there, you wanna make sure that the forts are tilted in such a way where you can slide up under that bad boy without piercing the product up top. So have it hang slightly down a little bit and want and you want the force down a little bit right here not too far down where you want to pick it up right there slide up in there you want to tilt the force back like so raise that sucker up a little bit and we got it And start loading this bad boy. Now we're practicing a little patience. You eventually be able to pick these suckers up with no problem. But picking them up becomes easy. Now the issue becomes loading. So when loading on these open trailers like such, I like to start at the tip of the trailer and get as close to the edge as we possibly can. Line them up as such. Place it down slowly. Tilt the forks down. Back on up. And we repeat the process. Now it's still time consuming. But maybe it's not like exactly like. Magic answer that you're looking for, but man, really, with anything with Farmer Simulator, just practice. Just practice. This is pretty much basically like driving a real Fort Lift, man. This should drive Fort Lifts for warehouses and stuff. So, it's really just not taking this thing too serious, man. Just do you. So I'm not like OCD or nothing, but you do want to make it pretty neat and then get stuff as close to each other as you can possibly get it. Because that makes your job easier at the end as far as packing. Because you have way more space to put more things. Crazy Paid Productions.
Take this stuff back to the phone. Crazy Pay Productions. As I said, we had a crazy night last night, man, on the phone. Yo, like and subscribe, hit notification bell. Hit me up, man, to try to join in on some of this action, man. It's all silly jokes, man. Nothing's too serious. Do what you want to do, man. Live your life. Help me move this stuff. Uh oh. We almost here to the floor, you can see in the distance of the world here.
Alright, so that's the video. We're back on the Mega Cow Farm here. We got a pallet here of the mineral feed that we're going to mix into our stuff to make some good TMR and feed our cows. I'm gonna do a no commentary later on, you guys. Me unloading this stuff and prepping this form for its first feeding. It's gonna be a massive feeding operation. Massive. Massive. Right. Might not even have enough food to feed all these cows. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Right. Like, what we're gonna do if we run out of food before we feed everybody the first time? It's gonna be tragic. But who knows? Do we or do we don't? But that's the video you got. It's your boy KB with ODRS TV, your number one source for outdoor gaming content. Like, subscribe, share, hit notification bell. And happy holidays.